What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video, and we are talking Town Hall 13. High level overview as we take a look at a few replays here, um, because we've seen a lot of strong Town Hall 13 attacks. I want to give you guys an idea of my thoughts on how the offense balances, what some of the strongest attack strategies are, and where Town Hall 13 might be going in the near future. This first attack we're taking a look at was one of mine. Um, you can see it is the Yeti Smash, which is a very popular strategy, similar to a P.E.K.K.A. Smash, except instead of P.E.K.K.A.s and Bowlers, you're just using Yetis, and you get the Healer Switch onto those Yetis, and they will push through the base very, very nicely and very efficiently, and it's very difficult for defenses to take them down, especially non-maxed defenses, which is what we're going to see in this base, and what we see in a lot of Town Hall 13s currently. Um, and that's one thing I want to kind of make a theme of this video is that we are seeing a lot of max or close to max offenses uh, at Town Hall 13, which is easy to do um, if you have uh, potions, if you're able to, to use the hammers on your heroes, stuff like that. Um, offense is being upgraded much quicker than defense because there's a ton of defensive upgrades to do and they take a very long time. And because of that, we're seeing a lot of maxed offense going against more of a Town Hall 12, uh, Town Hall 12 and a half defensive level. Um, so I think it's hard to say that Town Hall 13 is extremely overpowered, um, even though we've seen so many strong attack strategies seem to crush so many bases. We need to reserve judgment, um, I think, until a lot of these defenses get maxed out, and also, even more importantly, probably, until the defensive meta catches up and base building defends some of these uh, powerful attack strategies because we've seen uh, miners, dragons, the yeti smash, uh, the hog rider, uh, mass hogs seems to be very strong paired with the royal champion and the royal champion I want to talk about a little bit also in this video um, you can see she went down uh, relatively quickly but even at level five, six, seven, she has been seeming very powerful um, and I think as people upgrade her to level 20 max her out that is a very powerful tool that might need to be nerfed even because um, she just brings so much to the table with her unique AI being able to not only target defenses but also heroes, CC troops, skeleton traps, um, those kind of unit uh, troop type defenses along the way. So that's something to keep an eye out for sure. As this wraps up, we'll take a look at one more attack. Um, I want to give a quick shout out, this was a time fail by the way, um, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon because I'm doing a special promotion for it. Uh, you can see the Patreon page right here, some of the, uh, the perks you get, you get access to a Discord server for attacking advice, base feedback, but one of the most popular perks is custom war bases, and I am doubling the amount of war bases you get basically uh, for this month uh, of December starting at the end of the month as we transition into 2020. So if you sign up before January 1st, you get double the war bases. Uh, $10 instead of one base, you get two. At 20, instead of two bases, you get four. And between that, if you sign up at the $15 tier, I'm doing three war bases. So that is for current patrons as well as new ones. Link is in the description below as it always is. Check out the Patreon if you were thinking about it before. Now's a great time to get started because for this one month, uh, you will get double the custom war bases sent to you if you sign up. So check that out. Um, more details will be posted there and uh, on the Discord server as well. Okay, so having said that, I want to switch this next attack. This is um, one of the uh, random spins, their attack on one of our bases. And it was a quad quake, actually a, an ocho quake, I guess you can call it, um, which interesting strategy. Not going to quite triple, but it does push very far, and it was an interesting use of the um, Royal Champion. I'm not sure if this was intentional or not, but she's going to be kind of be delayed, and she'll take out some of those defenses that didn't otherwise go down to that main push, uh, especially that Inferno on the left side of the screen there. Uh, she'll step up and take that out, which is important because the Royal Champion fills a lot of gaps that were otherwise there in the Town Hall 13 attack arsenal. A couple of them was that, you know, the level 65 queen at Town Hall 12 was really strong defensively, and uh, as well as level 65 king. A big challenge was taking out the heroes. If it was a Sui attack, you'd have to use a Skelly spell or dragons or something. 
Well, not anymore. You can now use the Royal Champion with your main push, especially if it's a ground attack. You're using hogs. The Royal Champion just follows the hogs, has the same uh, target priority, except that she'll also take out uh, the Queen and the King, probably more reliably than a Skeleton Trap. Plus, her ability is able to slingshot through a bunch of defenses, and I think if you max her out, she can one-shot uh, some of the lower HP defenses, which is extremely powerful um, and can be used in those uh, Mass Hog or even Mass Law Loon attacks uh, as you develop uh, your Royal Champion. So that's definitely a strong highlight of Town Hall 13. Um, still have a lot to see, but the main point, we got to wait until base building catches up, until we see these max defense buildings. Um, the Town Hall is upgraded all the way, has its freeze effect. There's so much to upgrade at Town Hall 13, um, but be sure to subscribe and be looking on the channel for all your Town Hall 13 content, as well as other Clash of Clans competitive gameplay, as well as the podcast. You guys um, probably have heard me plug that a few times, but uh, info is always in the description for that as well. Be sure to check out my Patreon uh, promotion for this month if you're interested. That'll do it for today's video. Let me know what you think about Town Hall 13 in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron.